Hi guys, many of you know how much I love to read, and my favorite, I read all kinds of books, but my favorite Christian author, um, her name is Karen Kingsbury, I've read all her books, and she's lately gone into movies, she's got a few movies, and stuff, but her latest movie project is called, called Someone Like You, and I'm connected to her on YouTube, so she was showing on her channel, on her movie production channel, she was showing um, this one of the actors from Someone Like You um, was telling this story about how he was struggling to get into this one scene, into this one part. And so he went outside. And then this lady came up to him and prayed for him. And then he was able to, to tap into the scene and um and as i as i thought about that um he said he said most people don't need to listen to their heart they need to tap into their spirit he said i need you to tell people how you can hear from me, and yet you have a you, yeah, yet you have a physical limitation that won't uh, let you pick up your Bibles often. And yes, you can listen to your Bible, and you do, and you do. But I need you to tell people what else you do. Um, to listen to me clearly, and I thought about that. I said, I said, what makes me preach so clearly? What makes me hear you so clearly? And it occurred to me, I'm very in tune with um, the Holy Spirit because I'm, I'm very in tune with my spirit, and. Um, from my experience, a lot of people say, listen to your heart, listen to your heart, but no, the heart is not where, um, where God speaks to you. It is through your spirit because you are made up of three parts, your body, which is your physical being, uh, your soul, which is your mind, will, and your emotions, and your spirit, which is the part of you that connects with God. If your spirit is sick or not hearing from the Lord and you're just, what is going on? I'm not hearing from the Lord. Um, that can cause problems in your mind, will, and emotions, and in your body. Now, those problems can be separate as well, because um, you can have a physical problem without anything spiritual going on, and you can have an emotional problem and be spiritually um, okay, but most often those things are uh, connected, I find, anyway. Because when something's off in your body, sometimes that's, a, sometimes that's a sign that you're under stress or you need some spirit time with the Lord. Or, you know, um, 
sometimes when there's something wrong with in your emotions, you need some spirit time with the Lord. And that's what therapy often does. Therapy, the good therapists help you identify what's going on, not only your emotions and not only in your they help get that will right, but they help you identify what's going on in your spirit, what's going on in your your soul, what's going on in that. Where do you need the spirit work? Where do you need the mind work? Where do you need, you know, what do you need? And a lot of people, they're in tune with their bodies. You know when something hurts. You're in tune with your emotions. Do you know what emotions you feel? but you're not in tune with your spirit. And not being in tune with your spirit means that the whole thing, uh, although you know that something hurts, you don't know where it's hurting. So you're medicating the wrong thing. You're medicating something in your body when it's a spiritual issue. And you're medicating something in your soul when it's a physical issue. And the Lord says, I need you to teach people how um, to get in tune with their spirit because their spirit connects with my spirit. And when you can connect with my spirit, you have Um, most of what you need already because the Lord is the source of all and when you and when he can connect your spirit to his spirit he will actually let you know um, if it's a spiritual problem or if it's a physical problem or if it's an emotional problem. I can't tell you how many times that uh, the Lord Lord has said, uh, Rachel, you need to uh, go to the doctor, or Rachel, here's how you fix this. And because I'm a picture person, he will show me a picture Like, I need you to do this, this, and this. And you'll be like, how how did he tell you to do that? He's like, you're like, the Lord doesn't talk to me. Uh, Yes, he does, but you're just not in tune with your spirit. He talks to everybody who's available and everything to be spoke to. That's why people can't hoodwink you. That's why it's very hard to fool you because you have the Holy Spirit who knows all connected to your spirit. I can't tell you how many times um, I've liked a guy and the Holy Spirit says, don't go there, Um, Rachel, don't go there. Uh, That person is not right for you. And it's a knowing in my spirit because I've uh, been spiritually in tune with the Holy Spirit. And I'm not saying that I don't make mistakes because God knows I do. But when I do, I have the Holy Spirit as comforter, as corrector, as this. I can't tell you how many times He's corrected me. I can't tell you how many times he stopped me and said, don't say that. Or, or like, I'm a very t- timid person. I don't like confrontation a lot. And he'll say, this is the way you, you confront that person. 
This is the way you deal with that person. Um, this is how you let it go. And oh my gosh, it makes it so much easier. And that's why um, I can listen to preaching and it resonates with me because the Holy Spirit in me says, yes, that is so right. So often when I listen to good preaching, I'm not hearing it for the first time. I've been hearing it all week. Good, pre good preaching is often for me confirmation about what God is speaking because my spirit has been speaking that all week. And even when it comes to my friends or who I associate with, um, my spirit is key there too. He's like, nope. I don't want you to to uh, to get involved with that person, or, or yes, this person I want you to get involved with. And I think a lot of times people have um, problems because um, they haven't been taught how to listen with their spirit. They've been taught how to listen to preaching and take notes and apply it to their life. But if you can listen to your spirit, he'll tell you how to take, um, it'll, he'll tell you, God will tell you because he's connected to your spirit. He will tell you how to take that and apply it to your life, or how to take that and do this with it, or how to take that message and um, how how to take that message and use it effectively to help your son or daughter. Um, I was joking with the Lord last night. <laughs> I said. People would not believe that you say that kind of stuff to me. So, as many of you know, I'm single. And I said, okay, Lord, uh, how do you deal, how do I deal with this uh, sex thing? And he started to reveal to me about how to deal with the sex thing, he said, uh, not, not, no, just not now. But that was only the tip of the iceberg. And he started talking to me about different trip, tip, um, tips and tricks from when I get married to uh, help. Uh, he said, um, Awaken slowly. He said it will take time because um, it'll have to be awakened slowly. It can't be just all in one night. <laughs> and it was just, and I'll do a whole video on that one day. It's just so interesting. And I'm like, Lord, people wouldn't, wouldn't believe that you talk like this. Um, he's like, I, I do, but people are not in tune with their spirit. They're in tune with their, uh, bodies. They know when something is wrong in their bodies, um, but, um, and they know when something is wrong with their emotions. They know when they're angry, they know when they're frustrated, but they don't know how to get in tune with their spirit. And that's how um, you can list, you, you can get in tune with the Lord. And how you get in tune with your spirit is basically just time and relationship work and, you know, thinking that he says something and going that way and it turns out the wrong way and and know that on this journey of 
of honing in to your spirit. Know that you will make mistakes and forgive yourself for those mistakes. But when you hone in to your spirit, it will make your whole life easier. And I'm not saying uh, spirit as in something out there, because some uh, psychics and mediums say uh, spirit says this or whatever. No, no, no. That's demonic. That's not that's not holy. But what I'm talking about is the Holy Spirit and how he speaks to you. It connects through your spirit and gives you guidance. And how you know that the Holy Spirit is talking to you is different than how I know. Because he, he's not a one-trick pony. He's not a uh, you just do this and you know the Spirit's talking to you. He has many different ways that he talks to people. Sometimes he uses people uh, in your life to talk to you. And sometimes he uses podcasts or videos or songs or whatever. Depending on your bent or and how you... Um, communicate in your in your daily life. He will use anything to get to you. You just have to tap in to to that spirit, um, to the Holy Spirit. And when you do, you can ask him any questions at all, and he will know how specific to be with you. It is just amazing. And he wants people to tap into his Holy Spirit for every area of their lives. I can't tell you how many times uh, when I was having a financial issue, when he says, Rachel, you can do this, you can do that, you can do whatever with this, or how many times I have made a mistake and he'll say, next time do this. Or, you know, like he'll just guide me like that. And I'm the one special. I just have tapped into uh, the whole, um, my spirit's connection with the Holy Spirit. And that's what makes it uh, easier for me. And, um, and even your spirit, your spirit connection will tell you, uh, whether that pain in your body needs a doctor or maybe, maybe that, that anger issue needs therapy or maybe it just needs a friend. The Holy Spirit will even tell you what's going on in other parts of your, whether it's your mind, will, and emotions, or um, whether it's your body. When you tap in your spirit, because the Lord is to source, and because he connects to your spirit, he knows everything that's, everything else that's going on in you, so he'll tell you whether that needs therapy, or you just need to talk to a good friend, or you just need a good cry, or whatever, or, or that will go away, or that body pain will go away. Or do you need to go to the doctor? The Holy Spirit will tell you that, too. Or the Holy Spirit will tell you when when someone you're listening to is 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 not in the Word or and for themselves and stuff. So so um, 
the Lord saying, I need you to tell people to tap into their spirit. So that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you to tap into your spirit. And like I said, uh, the way you know that the Holy Spirit was speaking will be different from the way I know he's speaking because he's so vast. He's so vast and he doesn't speak the same way to everybody. You know, um, he doesn't use the same, he doesn't use the same methods as he does with other people. And the only way you'll know what methods he uses is to spend time with him, is to commune with him, is to understand him. Not understand him, but understand the way he speaks through you. And he could use a couple of different ways. His methods are vast. And because in this way, you won't need a preacher to tell you, to tell you God said this, God said that. Because your spirit will have already told you what God said. And the preacher will come along as confirmation. You won't need you won't need a Sunday word because the preacher will come as confirmation. That's what the Lord said. And you'll be like, mm mm-hmm. So that's what what I what I was musing on, but I felt that I ought to share with you. I think I'm I'm going to call this tap into your spirit. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye. And it won't happen overnight. It will take time. Just give it time. And you'll be fine.